Hello everyone, uh, my name is Sonia Tomaszkovic and I work in research and development. Uh, what we do in the research and development is uh, designing and delivering training and development opportunities uh, for researchers across university. We work with PhD students as well as postdoctoral researchers. Um, I work with schools of physical sciences and technology um, and my background is in experimental physics and I do have a PhD in biomedical engineering. Uh, I've spent about three years um, working as a postdoctoral researcher after I completed a PhD. So this is a little bit about me uh, um, and, and kind of why I'm doing the job I'm doing, I suppose. Um, this workshop is a beginner's course. It will give you some information about the first year report, but mainly it will focus on starting to write and creating some good writing habits. Um, so in this workshop we are going to talk a little bit about the first year report, as I mentioned. Um, so what is the purpose of it? Um, what is the structure? Then we will move on to writing itself. So what the writing process looks like, uh, why we find writing hard, how can we overcome some problems. And also uh, you will have the opportunity to try out different writing exercises and basically start to write as well. Uh, I would like to mention here that we are not going to talk about English language or grammar. Um, if you do feel that you need help with English, uh, language and grammar, uh, please check Language Center uh, in the first instance, instance now their website. They have great online resources on academic writing. Um, at the end of this presentation on the last slide I have a list of some resources and amongst those is also the link to the Language Center website so you will have access to that. Uh, also just to kind of emphasize more information on submission deadlines details any details about your first year report number of words and similar please do talk to your supervisors and graduate administrators at the first instance um, they will be in a much better position to advise you on that um, obviously this is cambridge so there is no one universal rule each department has their own you know submission deadlines their own uh, number of words that they want to report to uh, first year report to have um, and so on and so on. So there are lots of kind of uh, local differences between. So the most safe thing is for you is to talk to a supervisor and grad administrator who will be able to then advise. In addition, obviously, in these crazy times of coronavirus, uh, I would strongly advise you to keep an eye on university's COVID-19 website. Uh, there is a bit dedicated to postgraduate students. Um, and kind of do monitor any information coming out uh, about the first year examinations. Um, this is all new for all of us um, and everyone is working really hard to make um, this first year re assessment but also vivas and everything else uh, any other process reasonable and also possible. Uh, so do do check information regularly. It should all be filtered to you anyway through your departments and kind of supervisor grad administrator but just in case um, it's not or it's delayed. Uh, it Again, you, you keep an eye on the website and kind of be informed in that way uh, yourself. Um, and also I think sooner you know what the first year, year report examination will look like, it will give you more time to kind of get ready and prepare uh, forever for whatever is coming uh, your way really. Okay, now hopefully this is clear, so let's move on to think about why, um, why do we do first year report, what is it for? And first of all, it's registration, it's the formal bit. So right now you're registered as master students. Once you pass your first year report uh, assessment, then you will officially be registered as a PhD student. So that's the formal bit. But in that, um, your uh, examiners are trying to assess, first of all, your ability. But I wouldn't be worried about that. That's usually not an issue. You know, you're already selected to do the PhD in Cambridge. So you are able, so that's not a question, but it, moreover, more, more importantly, they are there to try to assess the suitability of your project in terms of time. Can you, is it realistic that you can finish it in time that you have? Um, and also the content, is the content actually on the level of a PhD uh, degree? Okay, so that's what is it about, okay, to check where you are in terms of this project, okay? Um, I would say this first year assessment is really there to help you with the progress. It is not there to uh, hinder your progress, it is not there to trip you up. 
it is there to guide you and push you in the right direction. I think sometimes it's difficult to see whether you are going in the right direction uh, when you're in the, in the process yourself. Okay, so having this independent eye can be really useful. Okay, so use this opportunity to kind of get clarifications and, and, um, and you know, any question if you have, it's a good time to ask and, and clarify so you can move in the right direction as soon as possible after the first year um, assessment. I suppose in terms of what goes in a first year report, the structure is pretty similar to any other report or a thesis or a paper. It will consist of standard sort of uh, five, five sections, introduction, literature review, materials and methods, results, discussion and any future work plans. Sometimes you might be asked to write a project proposal or expected costings, but if I'm honest, I've never heard about that. Uh, that anyone has been asked to do that. But just in case you are, it can be required. Okay, now, I would say uh, the perhaps the biggest emphasis, emphasis on uh, in your first year report should be on your future work plan. Of course, you have to show you what you've done so far, but I think even more importantly is what you are going to do in remaining time. Okay, that bit future work plan will show your examiners that first of all you can sh finish on time, and also with the content which is ex expected at the at the level for PhD dissertation. Okay, so do spend some time thinking about your future work plans and kind of write um, write in detail what you're going to do and how you're going to do it to reassure your examiners that you are on the right track and you have enough time to complete everything. Okay. Um, Often when we do this uh, workshop face to face, a uh, question that we very often get uh, from students is how how do I know that this report is enough? You know, this is enough of materials and results and and so on in in it. How do I know you know this is okay and now I can submit it? Now, I mean, I don't unfortunately I, I can't give you a formula that works for everyone. It will very much depend what enough means depending on your project, on your supervisor the type of research you do, you're doing, so there is no one universal formula. But my advice is in this respect is always the same. First of all, talk to your supervisors, check with them what are their expectations of your first year report, what they think should be there, they're the best guide you will get. But also ask your supervisor whether they can share any good uh, uh, and recent first year reports. Okay, something from the last couple of years or so. Seeing someone else's report can be really informative, it can give you an idea of kind of a level of details uh, you need to go into and how you know how many experiments how much results you need to have um, and it kind of it can be just really helpful to just view one of those before actually seeing and uh, starting to write your own to see if that's possible um, for you and get information from your supervisors okay as I mentioned at the beginning, we will have some writing exercises and our first writing activity is free writing. Um, I know some of you probably know what free writing is, but I'll very briefly just explain. So basically this is writing in sentences with no stopping, no editing, no referencing, just a stream of thoughts put on paper, okay? And you do it in a particular time. So in this particular, uh, today we are trying to do the five minutes uh, exercise, it can be 10 as well, but let's say for today, just five minutes. Okay, so what this free writing really is, is uh, it's a warm up. So I like the analogy, if you're going to run, you will go out, stretch your legs, stretch your arms, then you will start to write. Free writing is something like that. You're warming up before you're actually starting to write. Okay, so this can be really useful exercise to help you start writing, particularly if you're struggling to start. Okay, um, um, so if you're having like writer's block or a blank page syndrome, then this can be a great sort of opener. You write for five or ten minutes and then it kind of helps you to actually start writing. Um, so that's, it's, it's a really a warm up. So how are we going to do that? Um, I would ask you to please use five minutes to write an answer to the following question. Why is my research project important? So five minutes, you can pause this presentation, write for five minutes. When you're ready, please come back into the presentation. Okay, so off you go, five minutes answering the question, why is my research project important?